G'day guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. Welcome to all the new viewers to Organic Power. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you the install of these biofacial panels. I was getting a voltage spike with the seven panels. So I've dropped back to six, but increased the wattage. These are 440s. So it's about time to give the biofacial panel a try. And just see how they perform. So let's take a look. Just been back down to top solar. Dropped in and saw John. Show me these dual sided panels. I actually just watched a little video on YouTube two days ago about them. So they don't have the white lamination on the back side. The cell is open to light on both sides so the reason i bought these six panels is i was having an over voltage issue on the 250 60. when the panels had cooled down in the middle of the day you get a burst of sun after being in the clouds they hit their peak voltage and the mppt was sending me a warning So I'm going to put these double-sided panels up here on top of the carport. I'll replace the seven panels with six. So the voltage will be fine. And we're going to pick up about a thousand watts extra because the panels I'm putting in are 440s. So the reason I chose the double-sided panel, you can see the afternoon sun sets behind that panel, sort of in this direction here. So we're gonna pick up a little bit of afternoon wattage, which is very nice. So here's the 250-60. fed by those seven panels at the moment and just having a, just a warning once or twice a day maybe not today it's a little bit cloudy today so no warning but um, yeah if uh, it's really cloudy and then the Sun pops out we get a voltage spike and it's sending a warning so we'll drop that back to six panels and a higher wattage we'll pick up some more power and not have the high voltage spot. I've removed the seven panels from the frame, lifted them off the roof. So now I'll lift the six new panels on and get them fitted before the sun goes down. And then once the sun goes down I'll plug them all together. That's all the hard work done. Panels are lifted. Now just slide them into place, do a couple of brackets up. I've got the panels mounted just as it started raining. So it was perfect timing. It's looking pretty good now. So now I'm under here in the dry, tidy up the cabling. The array will be good to function first thing tomorrow morning. This is the back side of the array. It's 
Just got to finish tidying the cabling up. Connect the last couple of panels. So JA solar panel, bifacial. Finish this off. All done. Everything's neat and tidy there now. Six panels are completely installed. Set up like this, these bifacial panels will absorb the afternoon sun. Coming from this angle over here. And then in the morning, on the other side, it's pretty much northeasterly this array. I'll catch all the morning sun. Now we just have to wait for the array to fire up in the morning. We'll be able to find out how good these bifacial panels really are. So in the afternoon, once the sun passes over this northeasterly array, light bounces from the top of the carport straight back into the panel. And as does any other reflected light. So the sun's out, it's a beautiful day. These panels are getting their first taste of solar. And what a day they got for it. So we'll head up to the office now We'll go and have a look at the output. I'm on the PC here. It's linked up to the servo. This is the remote console. So in the yellow box, the 25060 there is producing 2.4 kilowatts. It's 9.11 uh, in the morning. Uh, the maximum capacity is 2.6 kilowatts. It's 440 times six. I've seen these panels go beyond that. So I'll uh, come back a bit later in the day We'll try and show you that. So at the moment, got the hot water heating, three air conditioners running, and the rest of the house. So we've got seven kilowatts going out. Still over 70 amps going to the battery. So charging pretty nicely. Once the hot water system as heated, we'll get another three and a half thousand watts back into the battery. We'll charge it up really quickly. So that'll be in about 45 minutes time. All right, so I'll come back to this a little bit later. We'll see what the peak output is.
the hot water service has switched off now. Plenty of hot water in the tank. So 9.56. 160 amps nearly, going into the battery. The AC loads dropped down there, just under four kilowatts. The arrays you just saw, they're bringing in 12.7 kilowatts. And that bifacial array on the 250-60 there is bringing in 2.4 kilowatts. This is the Organic Power VRM. I've left it a bit late to show you the full capacity of the system. It's 10.27 now. The battery has gone into absorption. But here shows you the breakdown of the 450-200. See the, the 250-60s ramp right back down there now. These are ramping down too. This was up at around 4,000 watts this morning. That's that new array down the side of the house that's on the steep angle. Makes a surprising amount of power. So still got the air conditioners running. 7,000 watts. Full battery. The arrays have ramped down. So not bad for 10.29. Been down to the shed. I've turned off the 150-35 and array two and array three on the 450-200 and put the load back on the house. Gotta wait for the air conditioners to ramp up. It should start uh, drawing from the battery then. We should be able to see the 250-60 spring to life. It looks like there's too much power coming in from those last two large arrays on the 450-200. Go and turn another one off. See if we can get this 250-60 to be at full capacity. So we've put the kettle on. Just put a bit more of a load on there. So we're getting 2,400.
Everything switched on there again. The rated wattage of those panels is about 2600 watts. So it's getting very close to that. By midday, uh, it'll be well and truly over. So everything's kicked back in there. We'll top up the battery after that little current drain. 100 amps going back in. Once that tops out, everything will ramp back down again. Thanks for watching, guys. Getting behind the channel. Give me some support. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We've got plenty more updates coming your way. So take it easy. See you in the next one.